this is just, uh, it's, a, it's a four to five minute video on the most generous person you know. We think that you're generous for, for many, many, many reasons. We'd like for you first to tell us the story of um, the pavilions, the music pavilions, and how you got started. The Levitt Pavilion started in Westport, Connecticut in 1973. The community needed a community venue where the kids could perform. Over the years it grew into a series of professional concerts that were free to the public. When my father, who was the major funder of the pavilion, sold his company, he wanted to see more pavilions open around the United States. He was 90 years old and he asked me to get involved. I love music. I love people. And this combined my passion for social justice and the arts beautifully. I have something with Levitt Pavilion that I can share with anyone regardless of where they are in life. And we put on a quality program so that I enjoy all these evenings of music under the stars and I truly love it. The Levitt Pavilion always allows me to give. So I am so blessed and happy. I love what we do. So tell us the story of, of Chu. My late husband's daughter was murdered and her daughter was 18 years old. And it became apparent pretty quickly that the only person in the extended family that was suitable to become her guardian really was me. So long story short, I got Chu at 18 and she was in a lot of trouble. Nobody knew quite what to do with her, but I was very lucky because Chu had to trust somebody and she decided to trust me. And thankfully I had resources and I had enough life experience to be able to help her. And now, and Chu took it. She took it. And now she's doing beautifully. And Chu is now 27, and I asked Chu if she would let me adopt her, and she's going to let me adopt her. And I have a beautiful, glorious person who's realizing her potential, who's making the world a better place, who's singing her song, who has access to her inner voice. And I say she is the miracle in my life, and she says I am the miracle in hers. Generosity is not about dollars in the pocket. Generosity is about sharing and openness. Generosity is when you see somebody in pain and you intuitively go over them and offer them a helping hand. It's when someone has no place to go at the holidays and you just open up a seat for them and you include them. I know it sounds corny, but it is true. Generosity is a spirit. And it's also giving without expecting something back. It's giving because you just give. I'm trying to think if I, if, if I had absolutely no money, it, it, it could be babysitting for somebody, but it could be somebody's dying and you just go over and you're, you comfort that person. There are times when people just need someone to be there with them. Or maybe you volunteer for a community organization, or you go walk the dogs at the pet shelter. There is a way to contribute without with giving of yourself. You don't have to give money. There is so many ways to give, just so many ways to give. Mm -hmm.